From your student pair dashboard, you can access your timesheet either by clicking and expanding the PAR document here, or by selecting the placement you require from the drop down menu here, and clicking the green button. To begin with, the timesheet page will appear blank. Take note of the key available in the blue box. These day types will be used in your electronic timesheet to explain how various hours have been accrued, for example in practice or via flexible study days. The table above shows all the details of your placement, including your mentor's name. You also have the option to download your timesheet should you ever require a paper copy when out in practice. To begin populating your timesheet, click the green button to add your first week. Select the date from the calendar. And add. Always begin by selecting the type of day you are recording. Click on the blue box to access the menu. Next, insert the planned hours for that day. The total hours will automatically populate the bottom box. You could then adjust this total to reflect the amount of hours actually accrued on that day. Any hours logged are also automatically adjusted in the declaration section below. If you are recording sick days or unplanned leave, the hours section will automatically be greyed out to show that no hours were accumulated on that day. You also have the option to add notes to your timesheet, for example, to explain any absences or in the event of unplanned leave. Each week entered into your timesheet can be signed off by your named mentor or a secondary mentor. The member of staff can sign off each week via their own pair account or through the student's account. Simply hand the device to the member of staff, allowing them to enter their details and add a signature to the document. Once a mental signature has been added to an area of the timesheet, it will then become locked and you'll be unable to further edit or amend that section of the timesheet. If changes are required, you're able to remove the signature to make these. Your mentor will be notified of this via email and a new mental signature will be required for that area. Once all weeks have been signed off, the final signature can be added at the bottom of the page. The system will only accept a signature for this area from the named mentor. Your named mentor is listed at the top of the page as we mentioned earlier.